We are looking at packing tape cast sculptures. In this PowerPoint, there will be notes, samples, and project resources. We have a couple student samples here uh, from our showcases. We have a hand with some sort of ball, or maybe it's a yo-yo suspending from it. Two hands with a ball uniting them or bringing them together. This is a hand stirring a bowl, like mixing for cooking. And this is part of a torso. This has an abstract aspect to it where it's been hollowed out. And these actually light up, as you'll see shortly. The terms we're going to look at are cast, materials for casting, dry casting, base, and then you're going to list an example. Uh, there's going to be three dominant elements, three dominant principles, and we're going to review the types of sculptures of high relief, bas relief, freestanding, and the new term site specific. You will also be doing a project proposal showing me your idea, the sketch, and what your requirements are. So in this slide you can see here's a piece that had the, a heart in it and the, uh, the, the sculpture with the torso has those little balls that light up. Here you can see a project proposal by a student and the piece that they made and another one. A close-up view. Uh, this hand is holding a shoe. This one's holding a rose. All right, so for vocabulary, cast, a cast sculpture is usually defined as a form made by pouring a liquid material into a mold and allowing it to harden or to become solid. Cast sculptures can be made from molten metal, cement, plastic, rubber, fiberglass, glass, water, etc. Ice cubes are an example. Tape casting is a dry casting method. You will be creating a sculpture that uses an object as a mold for plastic wrap and packing tape. So those are two um, materials. The beginner project requirements uh, create a personalized sculpture with a hand and an object. The hand must include the hand and the arm up to the elbow and at least one object. Your presentation, how you will display it, must be addressed. You'll probably making, uh, be making a base, but if you have something more creative, you know, let me know. Think about what is the hand holding, what is the hand doing, what is the hand leaning on. Think of something that's important to you and communicate something about your personality, your hobbies, and what you like. Advanced students, that's the level two and three students, you need to make a site-specific subject, which you'll see what I mean in just a moment. And your projects are expected to be more complex than the beginner assignment. How will your project stand? Your project must stand on its own. Create a base. A base is what the sculpture is attached, fixed, or mounted on. Your tape must be thick. If your tape is thin, your whole sculpture will collapse. Proposal options. Do you have a creative idea? Do you want to create a homecoming dress, a swimsuit, a beach bag, or accessories to go inside the beach bag, uh, create an entire body, or do something else? Just present your idea to me, show me a sketch, uh, put some images from the internet on a Word document, show me what you're thinking about. Here's some hints I have for making the project. Uh, when you do the packing tape, do not cut the seams straight because we can see them. Cut them at a zigzag so it matches the uh, pieces of tape in your project so that way they're hidden the seams will be hidden scissors the vis video shows using a sharp blade to cut the tape off of the object I highly recommend only using scissors due to safety issues and the possibility of damage to wrapped objects they were using a razor blade uh, depth do not wrap a person's head with plastic or tape 
<laughs> can't believe I have to put that in writing. And lights, if you want to add lights, add them before you seal the seam. Tape them on the inside. You have to plan it ahead of time. You cannot create a project and then go, oh yeah, I think I'll put lights in it. You have to plan it so it can be inside the project. Test the lights to make sure they work before you put them inside the sculpture. Uh, types of sculpture, this is review, plus a new term. We have our high relief, uh, very 3D sculpture surface that projects from a background where they're attached to the background. Bas relief or low relief, a shallow 3D surface that projects from the background. So here we have coins, our repose project, and this actually has both bas relief and high relief. The new term, oh sorry, freestanding sculpture and sculpture in the round. Freestanding just means the sculpture is not attached to any background. These sculptures can be walked around and viewed from all angles, which you can tell you can walk around these and they're interesting from all around. More freestanding sculptures and more freestanding. Now this is a packing tape sculpture and so is this one. Now we get to the new term, site-specific sculptures. Art created with a specific location in mind, whether it's inside or outside. So it's designed like the city paid for this sculpture to be located here. The city or people who own this building paid for this Alexander Calder piece. This site-specific piece would not work unless it was at a window. So it looks like he's half in and half out. The little fairy in the tree branches, again, that's the base that she's standing on. That's the presentation. The dog playing frisbee, obviously you'd want it outside. The giraffe with the tree, again, it has it only works if it's outside with a tree. Okay, your elements of art, we're going to talk about form, texture, and negative space. For the principles of design, we're concerned with proportion, unity, and repetition. The resources, this first video is me showing you how to create a tape hand. And then these are the other videos we're going to watch to um, learn how to do it and how other people have come up with ideas. And that's the end.